So DSM um, are motivated to hold this event uh, now because in the, since launch of the, the first uh, feed protease, uh, Ronazine Proact in 2010, we've been working very extensively with industry and with academia to, uh, to better understand the, uh, the value of, uh, of using a protease in, in broiler feed. And uh, in particular, uh, last year we held a symposium in Copenhagen where we brought together the, the key academics from around the, uh, the world in the areas of enzyme technology and protein nutrition. And the main conclusion of this event was that there is a significant uh, knowledge already about proteases. Um, and therefore, it seemed like a good opportunity to, uh, to take this information and present it to as wide an audience as possible. Um, so that we can all uh, benefit from, from the know-how we already have. Um, DSM is very lucky in having contacts both in academic world and in the, uh, in the industry. And therefore, it's the, the format which we have where we bring both parties together for good dialogue and, and discussion um, is very valuable, for, uh, both for DSM but also for, um, for the other participants of the, of the meeting. It helps us learn and move forward as quickly as possible. Well, the, the broiler industry in Europe is no different from the, the industry worldwide, so it needs to be as efficient as possible. And uh, the use of, um, of, of, of additives which uh, well um, have good scientific uh, information behind them and can offer good cost savings are, are, are anyway going to be of, of value and received by the industry. But in Europe we also have um, a rather unique set of circumstances where the consumer is playing a big role. Um, there is increased amount of legislation in the areas of environment, in the areas of, of animal welfare and uh, the use of antibiotics. And these are all very favorable for, for, the, uh, for the, uh, the value of a protease. It can help in all of these, uh, these circumstances. So uh, this is certainly helping the development of the product in, in Europe. And uh, I expect these uh, conditions to only uh, increase and so uh, these, as we go forward, will help the, uh, the, the, the sales and the development of, the, of, the, of, of proteases um, in the future. The, the message I would have to, to someone who is receptive to the use of proteases but waiting for the fine tuning is well, look at the information which has been presented in this symposium in the last two days. Some very good scientific information supporting the effect of protease on digestibility of key raw materials in, in animal feed and also showing that this can then be related to improvements in animal um, performance. So the question is well, why wait? Of course you will get more fine tuning in the future. But, but already you can derive a lot of value from using a protease. So I would suggest start conservatively, but evaluate the product in your own facility, particularly in the commercial environment where you can maximize the, the value of a, of a protease. Okay. And then with, with this information, you can already start benefiting, and in the future you can gain more as, the, uh, as we fine tune the product and, uh, and um, obtain more from, from its uh, value from its use. Since we launched the product in 2008 or, or in, in 2010 in, in Europe, then we have gained a tremendous amount of knowledge about the application and also the science behind uh, um, the value of a protease in, uh, in broiler feed. And uh, we, uh, we, as we go forward, we will continue to develop even, even more, more, uh, more know-how. But the, the main uh, thing which we've, we've gained is we, we now can understand the relationship between the protease and, um, and feed ingredients. We have an extensive database of information which shows the, the potential of a protease with different raw materials. Um, and we also understand more the relationship with different dietary factors as well. So we can, with, by using this information, we can get, give a much more consistent response to a protease than we could when we launched the product five years ago. Mm -hmm.